So which one should you buy? Should you buy the Starrett uh, double square for $80? Or should you buy two double squares from eye gauging for $32? Hola woodworkers, Paul Carlson here, small workshop guy. I wanted to get a, a double square. I had dropped mine a number of times. Okay. It wasn't sliding well and it was a little uh, banged up. But anyway, I got these and then I, I just started losing sleep. I started thinking, why, how can Starrett possibly want to charge me $80 for a single one of these, double square with a hardened blade, they call it, uh, when this set only cost me $32. It, it ate away at me, it ate away at me. I finally said, you know what, I need to do a comparison for uh, my 15 uh, subscribers. So I went ahead and I bought it. <clears throat> now, before I do the comparison, let me mention that I've got a new Patreon link and I'm looking for still my first handful of pat patrons. And at the end of September, I'm gonna look at who all of my patrons are, all one, two, or three of them. I'm gonna do a random drawing of, in that small select group for this Richard Kell honing guide. Uh, that's from England. I forget what I paid for it, somewhere around 50, 60, 70 dollars. And it's very nice. And so somebody will become a patron, maybe for a dollar a month, and uh, be one of just a handful of patrons and win this. I would also like to announce that I, there's a group that we've started called Small Workshop Woodworking Community. And that's uh, on Facebook, and that's a new group. I realize there's many woodworking groups on Facebook already. Why have one more? I wanted to have one that focused on the small workshop, layout, economical tools, uh, ideas, uh, builds that people might do, questions people might have. So anyway, I've started that group. I think there's two of us so far. If you go there and sign up, that won't cost you anything, and we'd like to have you participate, if you, uh, whether or not you have a small workshop. And at the end of September, I'm gonna to go to however many people are in that group, and it may only be five, and I'm gonna do a drawing, a random drawing, and give away this set of uh, double squares. In the middle of September, I'm gonna give away this MyTech uh, honing guide. It's an inexpensive one, but maybe somebody trying to do it freehand like I was and it's not working out well, and they'd like to have an economical guide, meaning free. So that'll go to <clears throat> whoever signed up by September 15th of 2019 in the small workshop woodworking community group on Facebook. Should you pay $80 for a really nice double square from Starrett. I, I bought it so that I could kind of really look at it, compare the two, and decide for a normal person in a small workshop, maybe a hobbyist, does it make any sense at all? I, I do like the uh, I do like the the ruler here. Uh, I like the kind of shiny but non glary. It makes it easier to see the little uh, marks. Those marks, man, those are those are really, really well done, uh, and I'm suspecting that they're not going to wear off and stuff. And they're very precisely done. The eye gauging one is good. It's all the same dimensions: one sixty fourth, one thirty second, one sixteenth, and then one eighth. And you can set those up to use whichever one you like. <coughs> now. With my eyesight, I can't see 164th anyway. You told me to set this thing to 60, 164th. I wouldn't be able to do it, even though they laid these out really, really well. So that's of no value to me, and both of them have that.
I, uh, I pulled these rulers out, put them back in, I unscrewed these all the way. They both have a little leveler in it, so that's no difference. They seem to weigh about the same. Uh, the stair certainly slides very smoothly and locks into place very nicely. But the eye gauging, if you release this, slides pretty smoothly too and locks into place doesn't lock into place quite as well, at least with my arthritic hands. So after all the study that I could do and looking at them and actually using them both in the workshop, I have concluded, and I will guess I will never be sponsored by Sterrett. I'm not sure I'll ever be sponsored by anybody, but I have concluded that it definitely is not worth the money to get the Sterrett this one or maybe the bigger combination square. Uh, when these less expensive but still high quality alternatives are available. Now, because I did spend the money, I am gonna keep the Sterrett rather than give it away. I get a certain amount of psychological value out of knowing when I grab a tool. Oh, that's a, one of those, that's a really nice one from Sterrett. That's not a cheap one. So I'm gonna keep it for that reason. But uh, I'm gonna, as I said, I'm gonna give this away to on September 30th to uh, somebody randomly that signed up for the Facebook group, Small Workshop Woodworking Community. It'll come in a nice little case. That's all I have to say on that subject. Be safe in your workshop. Small Workshop Guy, signing off.